Hannah. Thank you what, what you have in store for all this morning. Helen, the morning, they come into your presence to hear you. Come this morning to hear you this morning again. We have come this morning for your world. We have come this morning, oh God, to be advanced by the reason of the world you are sending across our way this early morning. We have come, oh Lord. We are not returning this day. We have come, oh Lord, to be a blessed of you. We have come, oh Lord, into your presence to be transformed. We have come to be transfigured. I'm set for your blessing. I'm set for the blessing. I'm set for your blessing. Express your desire to him this morning. Express your desire to him this morning. He has never had the son of Jacob to seek him in vain. You are not here in vain. You are here for his blessing. God is in the house already. I'm set for the blessing. In your presence, fullness of joy, blessed forevermore. Express your desire to him this morning. He will do it. I'm here to be touched. I'm here to be advanced. I'm here to be blessed. Thank you, blessed Father. In the precious name of Jesus, we are praying. Let's welcome the priest. Him. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. We give you glory, Lord, as we honor you. You are
be seated in God's presence. In a moment, we shall be rising up to pray, and when we rise, we shall be saying, Father, in this prophetic season, let the voice of the Holy Spirit silence every voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts and new members from coming to this church and be established here. Taking our cue from John chapter 10, verse 5, the Bible says, And a stranger we did not follow, but we flee from him. For they know not the voice of the strangers. With this understanding, I'd like you to rise up on your feet and begin to place demand on heaven this morning, saying, Father, in this prophetic season, let the voice of the Holy Spirit silence every voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts and new members from coming to this church and be established here. Lift up your voices this morning and begin to talk to your Father in heaven, saying, Father, in this prophetic season, let the voice of the Holy Spirit, let the voice of the Holy Spirit silence every voice of the stranger. Silence every voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts, our new members. Let the voice of the Holy Spirit silence every voice of the stranger. Father, we are decreeing in the name of Jesus this morning that the voice of the Holy Spirit which silence the voice of every stranger seeking to manipulate, seeking to manipulate our new converts, our new members from coming to this church. Father, in the name of Jesus, the name that's above every other name, let the voice of the Holy Spirit silence every voice of the stranger, silence every voice of the strangers this morning seeking to manipulate the lives of our new converts, our new members from coming to this church. Father, 
they will not hear the voice of the stranger anymore in the name of Jesus. We decree this morning that our new converts and our new members will not hear the voice of the strangers. They will not hear the voice of the devils. This morning again in the name of Jesus, every voice that is seeking to manipulate them from coming to this church, Father, we decree this morning that the voice of the Holy Spirit will silence them. In the name of Jesus, we will silence such voices forever. In the name of Jesus, Father, everyone that you have ordained for this church, we decree that by the authority in the name of Jesus, that the voice of the Holy Spirit will silence every voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate them. Seeking to manipulate them, seeking to manipulate them from coming to this church. Father, as a church this morning, we are joining our faith together and praying in the name of Jesus and saying in this prophetic season, let the voice of the Holy Spirit silence every voice of the stranger. Let the voice of the Holy Spirit silence every voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts and our new members from coming to this church. Engage in the spirit this morning and also engage in your understanding. Pray from the depth of your heart this morning and pray in faith. Engage in the spirit this morning, praying, Father, in this prophetic season, let the voice of the Holy Spirit silence every voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new converts and our new members from coming to this church. Father, we decree the establishment of all our new converts and all our new members in this church in the name of Jesus. They will no longer hear the voice of the strangers. They will no longer hear the voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate them from coming to this church. Engage in the spirit this morning. Talk to your father in heaven that hears and answers prayers saying, Father, in this prophetic season, let the voice of the spirit silence every voice of the stranger seeking to manipulate our new convert from coming to this church. Let's appreciate him this morning for the answers to our prayers. Father, we thank you. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. You may be seated. From glory to glory. And next, we shall be rising to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges, compelling the influx of multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Let's say amen. In March 13, 39, the end of the world is, is, is the harvest, and the reapers are the angels. So we're standing up right now and begin to pray this prayer with faith in our heart in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges, compelling the influx of multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? Let God hear your voice as you pray with authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges, compelling the influx of multitude into this church this coming Sunday. They are coming. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. By angelic intervention, they are compared and they are coming. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges, compelling the influx of multitude into this church this coming Sunday. If you can see this, pray it with faith. Pray it confidently and pray audibly. Let God hear you as you pray with authority, as you pray with confidence. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges, compelling the influx of multitudes into the church this coming Sunday. Are you praying that prayer? Are you praying that prayer? 
Are you praying that prayer? Is God hearing your voice right now as you make this decree in the name of Jesus? Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and hedges, compelling the inflows of multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying confidently. Someone is praying with authority in the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways, to the hedges, to compel the inflows of multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming. They are coming by angelic compulsion. They are coming. Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Are you praying? Let God hear you. Pray with authority in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray with confidence. Let's pray. Let's decree. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree the release of reaper angels to the highways and to the hedges, compelling the influence of multitudes into this church this coming Sunday in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Someone is praying. Someone is praying. Someone is praying earnestly. Someone is praying confidently. Someone is praying fervently. Be intense in this prayer as you pray now in the Holy Ghost. Leta palo zate kleto radi shadalaba. E prato zarota. Ye keto zarodi. E balata klato zi. Rada shada. E protalada. Ale konazo talia barata. Le tazuzi anosha. E brata le keto. Radish elo palo diano. Inza talabaya. Agaro taleto zia. E shana parodia. O brada zetolada. I karadosha. Breketoliano, embrezado lido, intala la shande, racula balada, zadela etopradia, esha la barato, in caprozata la shade kata, recotoliano parade, o zalaba shandeano, in catabrade, zetolada, emprotano, zetarada, ecleno parada sante clenonia, esha lo barata, o babane sotalabaya. Now give God thanks. Celebrate him and give him the glory. Give God thanks. Celebrate him and give him the glory. And in Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Please be seated. Shout glory. Next, we rise up to pray this prayer. Father, by the Holy Ghost, let your word have a free course and be glorified among us. In signs and wonders this coming Sunday. Let's say amen to that. Second Thessalonians 3 1. Finally, brethren, pray for us that the word of the Lord may have free cause and be glorified even as it is with you. Let's rise up on our feet this morning, lift up our voice to heaven, and let's pray that prayer, Father, by the Holy Ghost. Let your word have a free cause and be glorified among us in signs and wonders. This coming Sunday, lifting up your voice, press that demand, make that request, present that request before the Father this morning. We are saying, Father, by the Holy Ghost, by the Holy Ghost, let your word have a free cause and be glorified among us in signs and wonders. This coming Sunday, we want to see the glory of your word this coming Sunday. In signs and wonders, Father, by the Holy Ghost, let this be done this Sunday. Let it be accomplished this Sunday, Father, in the name of Jesus. Let your word have a free cause and be glorified among us in signs and wonders this coming Sunday. La bro sata ina kotosi elbo shanda kataya la brane kotosi e kotozamba lataya ane koto ane koto ane koto li abalata let your word have a free cause and be glorified among us this coming Sunday 
in signs, in wonders, in diverse miracles, in instant testimonies. Let it be so this coming Sunday. Father, we beseech you this morning by the Holy Ghost. Let your word have a free cause and be glorified. Let it be glorified in signs and wonders. Let it be glorified in miracles and testimonies. Let it be glorified by the oppression of the Holy Ghost this coming Sunday in our services. Let it be so, oh God. Let it be so, oh God. We beseech you this morning. Let your word have a free cause and be glorified in signs and wonders this coming Sunday in Faith Tabernacle by the oppressions of the Holy Ghost. Are you praying that prayer? Lift up your voice. Jesus said that the Holy Ghost will glorify him. Lift up your voice and pray that prayer. Father, by the Holy Ghost, let your word have a free cause and be glorified among us in signs and wonders. This coming Sunday, the 28th of August, this is our prayer. This is our demand. This is our request. Pray that prayer specifically. Pray that prayer intensely. Lifting up your voice. We want to see the word glorified in signs and wonders. We want to see the word glorified in miracles, testimonies. We want to see the word glorified in the name of Jesus. Therefore, lift up your voice. Cry out to the Father. Father, by the Holy Ghost, let your word have a free course and be glorified among us. In signs, in wonders, this coming Sunday, right here in Faith Tabernacle, we want to see the operations of your Holy Ghost leading to the glorification of the word. Pray that prayer with passion in your heart. Pray that prayer. You want to see something new this Sunday? Lift up your voice. Cry out in faith to the Father. It's a prayer that must be answered. La brona saya inaketaye baladi ande keteke lo baba le dion do lo baba so baba Father by the Holy Ghost let your word have a free course and be glorified in us in signs and wonders this coming Sunday are you still praying lift up your voice and engage this last few seconds passionately. Praying in the Holy Ghost, power that prayer to answers. La bratata eneki adashiale kerusa balata ma brande ketu zalaba lekinda balabo saba. Lift up your voice and give him thanks and praise. This morning we have prayed. He has heard us. He has answered us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Put your hands together and please be seated. From glory to glory, again shortly we shall be rising up to pray. And when we do, we shall be saying, Father, by the mystery of the Passover blood, let every captive ordained for eternal life during this operation bring many, be released and established in this church. Can somebody say, believe in amen? amen. Acts chapter 13 and verse 48b. The Bible says, and as many as were ordained to eternal life, believed. That shall be our portion in Jesus' name. As soldiers of Christ, please rise up on your feet. Begin to engage your heart right now. Lift up your voice to God. Pray in your understanding and pray in the Holy Ghost. We are praying, saying, Father, by the mystery of the Passover blood, let every captive ordained for eternal life during this operation bring many, be released and established in this church. Is somebody praying? Is God hearing your voice? Make sure that your heart is in what you are saying. This is warfare prayer. We are taking the weapon of the mystery of the blood. Father, by the mystery of the Passover blood, let every captive male and female, young and old, ordained for eternal life during this operation, bring many, be released and established in the faith and established in this church. Father, we are taking the weapon of the mystery of the blood. We are taking the weapon of the mystery of the Passover blood. And we are asking, we are decreeing, let every captive ordained for eternal life as it was in Bible days, 
Let every captive ordain to eternal life during this operation. Bring many all across our harvest field of Lagos, of Ota, of its environs. Lord, by the mystery of the blood, we decree that they be released, that they be released from every form of captivity and established in this church. We decree that they be released from every form of captivity and be established in this church. If somebody still pray, lift up your voice. No silent prayer. Pray aloud. Let heaven hear your voice. Don't keep quiet. This early morning, join your voice to the voice of the saints. Father, by the mystery of the Passover blood, we are praying, we are decreeing that every captive, young, old, male, female, no matter for how long they might have been held captive, everyone ordained for eternal life, all across our harvest field, Lagos, Ota, its environs, and even beyond, during this operation, bring many. We decree by the mystery of the Passover blood that they be released, that they be established, a faith tabernacle, and be established in the faith. If somebody still praying, is heaven still hearing your voice, don't keep quiet, no silent prayer. Lift up your voice higher and higher and begin to pray now in the Holy Ghost. Begin to pray now in the Holy Ghost. Begin to take help now in prayer. Ragota poyaga ala babaro makoseteria le maro bagolia mekato paroga dalaya magota daraba eramo kato paroga dala re sakata by the mystery of the Passover blood eramo kato agala babaro makoseria every captive every captive male and female magosa tadaya megadori makota ya. Aro Baboli Makotaria Ragadaba ordained for eternal life during this operation. Bring men all across our harvest feet. Mekatoria Agola Mokatoria. Cause them to be released. Cause them to be established. Megatoraba Legatoria Agalama Koteria in the faith and in this church at the faith tabernacle. Megasoria La Katadara. Begin to thank God right now for answered prayers. Lift up your voice. Lift up your hands to the Lord. Magnify his name. God has heard us. Give him praise and glory. If somebody say thanking the Lord, do it intensely, profusely. Thank him. Father, we praise you. Father, we bless your name. Thank you for answered prayers and we give you all the glory. For it is done. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Can you make that amen a louder one? Please be seated. From glory to glory. In a moment, we're rising on our feet to pray. We're saying, Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind drafting unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Numbers 11.31, they went a wind from the Lord, and they went and brought forth quails from the sea. And it was around the camp, a day's journey in every direction. We're going to invoke that wind again this morning. Rise on your feet with me as we lift our voices in prayer, saying, Father... In the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Lift your voice and let God hear the voice of your intercession this morning. Our Father, in the name of Jesus, let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Lift your voice and let God hear the voice of your intercession. Father, we call upon you in the name of Jesus, asking that the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting in unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday from every community, from all of our harvest field, let the wind go forth, O Lord. Rabane keto zuzia katane, rabla de keto shia manado. Let the wind invade every one of our harvest field and begin to rush in the multitudes. This coming Sunday, aramo ne ketola ya kopre dianga losa ye kopre di keteli abalato ikoshi anga la dabala kalo tembre di ke nozaria arado ke mona malate liro tembra da kaladoshe rande leri anga lato peya 
our father we call upon you in the name of jesus christ we are asking lord that the holy ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind and begin to draft unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. Lord, the kind of crowd we have never seen before. Breaking every previous record. Let them be rushed in into the faith tabernacle, into the overflows. Oh Lord, in every direction, let them, oh Lord, be gathered by the oppression of the mighty Russian wind of the Holy Ghost. Lift up your voice and let God hear the voice of your intercession. Our Father, we call upon you right now in the name of Jesus. We are asking, Lord, that let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, let him begin to rush in the multitudes of men, the multitudes of women, the multitudes of boys, the multitudes of girls into this church this coming Sunday. Arane Ketososia, in Cladia Catola, in Braneke Teliangarado Shudia. Lord, from every area, from every community, from every harvest field, let the wind invade and let the wind begin to draft them in. Let it begin to push them in. Let it begin to drive them in into this church this coming Sunday. Radeke tele bradia kata lambra no panleke tele embo natale rado ke pore meneketia lanke le bradie ke no sosia rade ke tolia maradia. We engage our faith in the name of Jesus, asking that the wind of the Holy Ghost go forth into every one of our harvest field, into every nook, every corner, into every lane, every street, into the highways and the byways and begin to draft in the multitudes in unprecedented fashion into this church this coming Sunday. Lord, in dimensions we have never experienced before. Amane ketele le kopatele in kanotamane radope le keto patelia lato zizi e komete in kazizi ketola raba nekelo shamana katalia garada balagadia in kole predi ketonada in ponegelia lato zuzetia a lato pere kenopa radope le keto zadia kanota in kolembre de ketelia manata a komana kele kredi kata our father in the name of Jesus. Let the Holy Ghost come down as a mighty rushing wind, drafting unprecedented multitudes into this church this coming Sunday. You can push the prayer in the Holy Ghost. Baropa nakato lebra neko sepe leke tetia angalade rabota eko lembra de kesusia alusia banatala. Father, we give you thanks. Lift your hand to heaven and give God glory. Father, we celebrate you. Blessed be your holy name in Jesus precious name we have prayed please be seated it is testimony time my breakthrough time put your hands together for jesus number one divine visitation when i graduated from school i taught with an excellent result in engineering I will secure a good job. I got engaged as a contract staff in a financial institute for nine years and ten months. However, when I started listening to Bishop David Oedipo's messages, reading my Bible and anointed books, I realized that serving God is more than going to church and living clean. I partook in the wonder double prophetic agenda but during operation possess the land the lord visited our family put your hands together for jesus in june 2016 by grace of exemption when there was mass retrenchment exercise in the financial institution where we work we were exempted jesus is lord put your hands together for jesus instead on july 1st 2016 I became a tenor staff with the addition of 64,000 naira plus my salary. Put your hands together for Jesus. Before then, I listened to one of Bishop David. I listened to one of Bishop Oedipo's message on Domi Radio, where he said that when we are engaging 
on the prayer altar for the kingdom, we should tell God which area we desire to be visited. So as I engage in kingdom advancement prayers one night, I told God to give me quantum leap in a specific area as Bishop taught us. Proud to this time, we believe God for a good accommodation. Since we were given good notice where we were staying, in July, God visited us. We got an accommodation, stress-free. Indeed, serving God pays more than anything. Thank you, Jesus. I give God all the glory. Put your hands together for Jesus. The testifier is Adesami Balogun. Number two, supernatural healing via the communion. I was diagnosed of gastritis and admitted in the hospital as a result of incentive stooling and nausea. On my discharge from the hospital, I was placed on a diet and pills that renders me weak daily. At the midweek service on July 27, 2016, the bishop said that we cannot be serving God and be serving sickness. Thereafter, we were admonished to take our healing package from the communion. My faith came alive and I called the sickness by its name and asked it to go at the instance of the communion. Immediately, the communion was served. I felt a rumbling in my stomach and I started thanking God for my healing. And right there, I decided to put my faith and my expectation to work by eating all I was told not to ever taste again in order not to have a repeat of the ailment. Put your hands together for Jesus. Behold, I haven't taken any pill till date and I've also got off the doctor's diet plan without any negative effect. Now, I am healthy and eat anything I like. I return the glory to the God of this commission. Put your hands together for Jesus. The testifier is Patrick A. For all these testimonies, let's be on our feet this morning as we celebrate him in praise.
more time, lift up our two hands and give him thanks for answered prayers today. Give him glory and praise for answered prayers today. Celebrate and magnify him for answered prayers today. Glory shagala paradalo tekiat. Enklo kotuzaze. E pradi zara kota prekteno rua le shishe. E balu teziza ratu pa ne kata pa. Roziza ru de prokteno roduza zala pa ne ka. Wa prodi ale shigle roda ba. Now begin to ask him to speak to you this morning by his word. Jesus, speak to me this morning by your word. Speak to me this morning by your word. Open a new chapter to my left this morning by your word. Thank you and thank you. And blessed be your name in the precious name of Jesus Christ. In the precious name of Jesus Christ. Father, thank you today. Thank you for another brand new day. Thank you for this is the day you have made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Take all the praise, Lord. In Jesus' precious name. Give the Lord a big hand of praise and please, you may be comfortably seated. We have been unraveling soul winning as a hidden treasure of the kingdom. So winning a hidden treasure of the kingdom. Every treasure of the earth is hid right in the belly of the earth. You don't find precious stones by the roadside. You don't find oil from a well of water. Oil is located deeper down a well of water. And so are the treasures of the kingdom. They are hidden in the deep things of God, the deep, deep things of God. In 1 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 10, the Spirit of God searches all things, yea, the deep things of God. Oh, the depth both of the wisdom and the knowledge of God. Romans 11, 33, how unsearchable are his ways, are his judgment and his ways past finding out. I will go a little deeper. Jesus, Lord, must be sweeter. I will go a little deeper, deeper yet. There is no end to the depths of God. Only those who don't know him claim to know all of him. The more of him you know, the more you know you don't know. The treasures of heaven are hid in the deep things of God. And what we're trying to do is to look at one of those seemingly ordinary looking thing called soul winning. And how loaded that simple thing is. Now, we cannot claim to be in love with God if we do not love what he loves. To be in love with God is to be in love with what he loves. The redemption of the souls of men is the epitome of God's expression of love. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God so love. That's the only place in scripture that we have here. God so love. So 
So if we are truly in love with God, we'll be in love with the redemption of man. The redemption of man will be a natural way of life for us. Passion and love to see souls saved is a proof of the love of God at work in our lives. He said to Simon Peter, do you really love me? He said, Lord, you know all things and you know that I love you. He said, okay, prove it by going after my lambs. Everyone ordained for the kingdom is a lamb that is astray, that needs to be rescued before the wolves will eat them up. Do you love me? He said, I love you. He said, see that my lamp is established until they grow to be sheep. Do you love me? He said, I love you. Okay, strengthen the sheep until the sheep can defend themselves. So it's all about going after the souls of men for their rescue, for their establishment, and for their strengthening. John 21, 15 to 17. Jesus is saying that one way to prove you love me is that you are in love with the salvation of the souls of men. You are in pursuit of the redemption of the souls of men. Think of it. You have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. John 15, 16, and I ordain you that you should go and bring forth fruits, and that your fruit should abide. By giving them the sincere milk of the world, till they grow to partake of the meat of the world, and they grow further to partake of the strong meat of the world. First Peter 2, 2, he said, they should desire this and see milk of the world that they may grow thereby. We teach them the rudiments of the world, the principles of the world, the meat that is profitable to them. And then we develop them to partaking of the strong meat of the world. Hebrews chapter 5 verse 13. He that uses milk is unskillful in the word of righteousness for his babe, but strong meat belonging to them who by reason of use have exercised their sense to discern between good and evil. That's, our command, that's his commandment. And he says, Whosoever has my commandment and keep it is the one that loves me. John 14, 21. And he that loves me with love of my father, and I will love him and manifest will manifest myself to him. So as you are doing that, you are committing God to manifest himself to you. Deliver to you the rewards that accrue to you. Remember, God is a rewarder. It's not your company where you work. It's not the leader of your group. It's not your pastor. It's not your president and founder. God is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. He said, I come quickly and my reward is with me to give to every man according as his way shall be. Revelation 22 verse 12. So your reward is not in the hand of any man. And when you are due for his reward, he abides faith he cannot deny himself. He will manifest himself to you. Can I hear your amen? Okay. So it is our love for God that qualifies us for his manifestations in our life. That's what turns us to a living wonder among men. What more? If you are truly in love with God and demonstrate same by your love and passion for the lost, 
He said, I guarantee you that all things will be working together for your good. How many things? He said, and we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Romans 8, 28. And to those that are called according to his purpose. All things. Therefore, expect that by reason of your engagement in this biblical proof of our love for God, all things will start working together for your good beginning from now. Amen. Come on now. How many things? All Come on. Things. How many things? All, all things are ordained to continue to work together for your good. All things. All things. There are many people in this church in that realm today. I'm privileged to be one of them. All things working together for your good. All things. You are not pushing any, no, anything. All things are working together for your good because you are in love with God with proofs. You are in love with God with proofs. You are in love with God with proofs. Praise God. All things working together for our good. That's the word of God. God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Jesus Christ, the son, also so loved the lost that he gave his own life. No one took it from me. He said, here and it was my father loved me. You can win the love of the father any day with your genuine love for the lost. You will win the love of the father any day. John 10, 17 and 18. He said, He had in my father love me because I laid down my life that I might take it again. No one took it away from me. I have power to lay it down and I have power to take it again. This commandment have I received of my father. He had in my father. You can walk your way into the heart of God by your pure love to see the Lord saved. Amen. <laughs> And when you win God's heart, you sure make a mark. You can't win his heart and not make a mark. Eyes have not seen. Ears have not heard. What God has in stock for them that love him. You can't win the heart of God and not make a mark in your adventure in life. You can't win the heart of God and not make an extraordinary mark in your adventure in life. You don't have to push nothing. No. His favor brings your way all things that pertain to life and godliness. <laughs> Men and brethren, I don't know one person from whom we bought one plot of land in Canaan land. Either by name or by face. I was not available for negotiation. I can't call any family by correct name. They got not the land by their own strength. Not that their own arm saved them. But thy arm, thy hand, and the lightning of thy arm, because you have a favor unto them. From today, you won't need to push anything again. The favor of God will be paving the way for you every day. The favor of God will be paving the way for you every day. That's what happens. You can win the heart of God any day by your genuine love and passion for the lost. I sat down ministering to people yesterday as if I was in my sitting room. Zero tension free ministration. God won 28 souls in one I minute mean, in three spots. 128 clean souls coming to church on Sunday. Man, just your love for God energizes you supernaturally. Delivers to you things that no human effort can. Something's breaking forth in your life. <laughs> now, now, please take this from here this morning. That your reward is not in the hand of your papa. Neither is it in the hand of your church. It's not in the hand of your team leader. Your reward is in the hand of God. Whether you are genuinely engaging or not is determined by him who sees all things. Who knows all things. Who knows you're sitting down and you're rising up? Who knows you're going out and you're coming in? Who knows your thoughts are far off? He knows why you are doing it. He knows your motive that nobody else can. But when your motive is pure, your motive is right, 
and your love and passion for the lost is genuine, you make strange marks, therefore. <laughs> Through the pursuit of operation, bring many, which is the fifth phase of this awesome prophetic agenda that landed since last year. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you'll be listed among the people that will be making strange marks. Yeah. It's no respect of persons. You do it right, it will show. You do it wrong, it will also show. Grace to do it right, receive it now. Yeah. Grace to do it right, receive it now. Yeah. God is not looking for who to put to shame, but who to honor. If any man serve me correctly, my father will honor him. This season must mark the end of every air of shame and reproach in our lives. Yeah. John 12, 24 to 26. Except a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it abides alone. But if he dies, then to bring forth much food. If any man serve me, let him follow me. So that where I am, there my servant will be also. If any man serves me like that, my father will honor him. When God honors a man, no devil can dishonor him. When God honors a man, anyone that resists or is angry about it is silenced by the power of God in whatever way. He, God, chooses to. Has God spoken only by Moses? Has he not spoken by us? Because Moses is a man honored by God, God silenced them by opening the ark that swallowed them up. God has very humorous way of silencing uh, careless talkers, evil wishers. He silenced Miriam by leprosy. When God honors you, anyone that attempts to dishonor you is silenced. Glory to God. I mean, silence, silence. Brutally silenced. Silenced. Somebody eased on us when we were singing and dancing and praising God in Kaduna under our bacha. And then dust and everything. Say, what kind? And east. And God gave him a stone in the tomac. A stone that makes the choice between her and the husband a horror. And so marriage was at the verge of collapse until God had mercy on her. Any witch that attempts to dishonor you will be silenced. Yeah. Any agent of the devil that attempts to dishonor a man that God has honored will be silenced. Yeah. It's always there. Rise to your feet. Amen. Your honor is in this day. Your lifting is in this thing. Your favor is in this thing. All that you and I can ever imagine is in the proof of our love for God. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. It hasn't entered the heart of any man what God has prepared for them that love him. That love him. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God. Soul winning is a biblical proof of our love for God. And that qualifies us to enter into the realm of all things working together for our good. Of making strange marks in our endeavors. Lift up your two hands and receive grace to keep demonstrating your love for God with your undying passion and love to see the lost saved. Come and take that grace from heaven. It's a humorous God. Pray that prayer from the depth of your heart. When soul winning becomes your way of life, all things begin to work together for your good. As you win the heart of God in the process, you begin to make strange marks on the earth. For they that be wise shall shine as the brightness of the firmament, and they that turn into righteousness as the stars forever and ever. Your star is in it. Your future is in it. 
My star is in it, and my future is in it. My star is in it, and my future is in it. My star is in this, and my future is in it. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. And they that turn many to righteousness. The issue is many. That is God's benchmark for the making of stars. Many. Come and say many. many. Not some, but many. Many. And that many is defined by God. That many is defined by God. In case your many is 114 for your star to shine and you throw in the towel at 100. You are 14 number short. And then the star said, I'm not ready to shine. It has to be 114. Praise God. In case it's 120, and you are now 118, remaining two, and you throw in the towel, good luck. Remaining two, the star won't break forth until the two is fulfilled. I don't know what your many is. I don't know what my is many for me is. And I don't think you know it's what is many for you is. So what do we do? You keep walking. You keep walking until he says, now you free the benchmark of many, star shine. And then the star breaks forth forever and ever. I can tell you this, wherever God places you, no devil can bring you down from it. No devil can bring you down from it. Because whatever the Lord doeth, it shall be forever. You will hit your benchmark of many in grand styles. The evidence will be all over the earth that you have hit the benchmark of many for you in the name of Jesus Christ. That's what it is. There are many stars in this place. Your star will not sink. Your star will not drop. You will not go to the grave with your star. It's all in your hand and it's all in my hand. Don't be a passive member of a team. Don't be a passive member of any partnership. Be actively engaging. God is marking individuals, even though we're in a team. He's marking the input of individuals in prayers and in reaching out to the lost with love and passion. What a day. 6 p.m. today is a special Holy Ghost prompted impartation service. Every member of this church should appear in their respective zona centers and receive the live broadcast of this once that it has never happened in our ministry never first time forever it's by the prompting of the holy ghost because if i do not the works of my father believe me not so every grace at work in this vessel that you sincerely desire in your work with god in your pursuit of god shall freely flow into your life tonight all you need is come with your heart come with what just your heart just your heart panting craving i must get it today today's my day i must get it today today's my day and then freely as the prophetic word begins to go forth you find god distributing your path to you lift up those two hands give him thanks and praise remember your reward is in his hand not in anybody's hand you do it correct you are rewarded openly you fake it it shows receive grace right now in thanksgiving to do it correct to do it all right lift your voice as you receive that grace from heaven this morning receive that grace from heaven this morning receive that grace from heaven this morning lord grace to do it right grace to do it right grace to do it right in order to come to the point of reward i received that grace this morning thank you mighty god blessed be your holy name in the precious name of the lord jesus we have prayed in the name of jesus we have prayed in the name of Jesus, we have prayed. It is done. Please, as the goodness is shared, let us recall the flyers are available. We are on the go for Jesus, and each one of us shall be duly rewarded. 
Let us share the goodness of the Lord together. Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the presence of the Lord forever. Amen. Peace. From glory to glory, and from glory to glory, congratulations. Congratulate somebody as you go. Be blessed.